you want to play a standard front-to-back composition here, right? You're very reliant on your Azir and your Zeri to be able to dish out damage to the front line. Vitality's goal is to find a way past the front line. They have a lot of mobility. Pushing lane top, pushing lane bot, pushing lane mid. Hello. Well, there you go. There's a sync up, isn't it? Flash done. Nice opener from SK when we're just talking about mid jungle. That's a nice way to show appreciation towards the same fact as this was not gone. Video's got to step up to the wave. He's just burnt his flash. He's trying to rush it, thinking, nah, I'll be fine. As Isma comes on in, he's got the flash, the flails out. All he needs is a couple more autos, and Video's going to die. That charm off a cooldown, and it doesn't matter. First blood comes down, and well punished from the greed of Video. I mean, I will say I'm surprised. Syncing up with Daglas a bit more as well. As Vetti has told you, two seconds of the grubs come up as Isma launches the prison out. Hillisang might be in trouble. It's a double knockup as well. Good CC from SK. And Hilly's on a hair's breadth with no summoners from before. Isma flashes and matches and down he goes as Niski sends Daglas on the spot. That ult is something to give him time and it works. How does it work? You don't know until you see it with your eyes. The charm as well, almost catching Doss on the way out. But... Man, Douglas felt like he should have died there, but SK just couldn't finish the job. Nice. Secure another kill. Vitality, though, back on the grubs. Isma making his way out. Doss, not level six just yet, but he's here to join the party. We see Ari stuck underneath her tower. No ulti available, of course. Nor for Photon either. That's going to be a route down onto Doss, and it interrupts the charm, too. Good pick. Doss can't get out, and Video secures a kill while now. One grub left behind. SK oh, they have the gold lead, and it's 2,000 for that amount here at the 11 minute mark. So the early game. Still going spectacular, despite SK finding that pick before. There was so much on cooldown for both sides in that exchange that I'm honestly surprised that SK oh, tried to fight that. Might be dead. I mean, rumble overheats, and there you go. Big bad photon again. Before 100 me. stacks is probably about 17, 18 minutes. I think. No, maybe it's even faster than that. Maybe 16 we're talking about. As no one to reference, Photon's going to get ulted in the meantime, though. No. Equalizer does come down. Ulted a little bit late from Hilly. You can't do too much in the response. It's the combined CC of a uh, Cassante and Sejuani. It's not going to be enough, but Daglas. Rubs it. It's good. On to Isma. Remember, he's got no ulti, so one in return with a quick charm. That's a kill. Over to Daglas. Now, he picks up one himself. And right back on the board. This series. Oh, you'd hope so. I mean, as a best of three goes. Again, you know, last split, I feel like it was... Uh, a bit of a shock in the pan. I remember the Vitality SK. But now they know exactly where Isma is, which unlocks a lot of options for Literally. Vitality. They're going to look towards that tier two. Well, actually, it might be in trouble. I mean, Card's going to get taken over the turret. He's just exploded upon. Center right won't save his life, and it's a shutdown. Now for the Vial on top of this Zeri. Can they get Exekick? They can't! They can't kill Exekick. He kites back in front of his team where Irrelevant is already so tanky. And with a knockback as well, Hilly's up next, and this is the problem. If they get a tank in front and the damage behind, it seems so easy for SK to execute like that. This is also why Irrelevant earns so much praise. Oh, yeah. What a great play from him. Vitality's logic and decision making there. So they unlocked the top tower. They're now on the dragon. And it'll be third as well. I mean, how's the steal from Daglas? He has to commit all or nothing at all. And nothing is the answer. Is teleport by the doubles being burned by Vitality. They're trying to run them down. But remember that Irrelevant has two items. This Cassante. Solves in now is. Oh, they may have found a pick. Again. Photon didn't burn flash last time, though. Equalizer's out. Damage Ooh. on Isma is out. The flash behind him as well. He's still overheating, but he won't get the chance to auto again. Niski sends him up against the wall. And it's a beautiful return from SK, but now they have to get out as Niski is the new target. He won't burn a summoner, but he will burn his light as it's a one for one trade. I wonder Start if. With the Baron. As you still I mean, the alluded pings, to. The pings are coming down. Vitality, they're suspicious. They don't know if this is a trap or not. But I think they're just going to get it. Now they see. I mean, where's the damage at? 3k. Agus, still, Agus. still, he does. Keep Vitality nice and strong. But now for the turnaround play, SK have brought in the quickness and dots in a great spot. Nitsky's ult with so is Hillisang. We'll take one for the team. It's a double already. Is there diving this turret still here? And Kazi just has to sit, try and play around. It's a triple. Already given over to Exa Kick. But Video looking for one back. Three members for the Costa Baron. You still get the Baron yeah, under okay, Picking up the Baron, sneaking that from under the thumb, and Vitality are left there chilling with the Dragon coming up in 30 seconds. As Daglas' angle could be huge, he flashes. He's going to cease and desist with the Equalizer on top, and Hasaki! Extra kick the target, they just need to finish it off, and finally they do! Vitality all in, and it pays off 500 grand on red.
I think you're getting about at least 250 back with Niski. Getting That's a kill on Dagger 3. Games a bunch away. Video's out for the time being, but the quickness there as Photon is burning a life. Dos flashes over and will get the kill by himself. It's so messy as SK still have numbers advantage, and Photon is left standing in the midst of the fight. It all erupted, it all just started. People like Isma, Doss, irrelevant with the engage, while X kicking Niski. The DPS carries are doing it all. Quickness now comes through, turret goes down. It's the knock up again, and for Doss, he's sacrificing his life, but it's all in a good cause. The X kick can continue to stand up alongside Niski. The DPS must be cheering. Harder and harder for Vitality to actually execute on these fights. Irrelevant is such a monster. Oh, Kazi, well played, dodges away, and again! Ooh. Oh, Kazi with the fancy feet. It's like watching Michael Jackson on beat. And as the last breath gets him out as well, Niski under turret is tanking up as Equalizer follows through. Kazi is still alive dancing around. If only they could finish the job. Vitality would have so much more. But Harry, when he inevitably gets dived on. And again, X Kick. I mean, it's been hard to kill him as we've seen already. Video's going to try, though. Spirit Rush over the wall. Charm doesn't connect, though. Equalizer is following through. So Vitality have got some good damage out. But Video's dead. almost dead. Doss now looking for him as sending the blade out is good, but Daglas is isolated. And SK again, it's all these tools used to kill Exekick, but they just never be able to finish the job. As Hilly over the wall, it's actually going to be for video. He's just destroyed for a shutdown. And Vettius, as we keep seeing these fights play out, now it just feels so hopelessly doomed. Card's going to try again, but Irrelevant oh. gets a kill. It's a snipe down on Hilly from afar as well. SK with another. And these team fights are way too out of control. But it feels like Vitality's hand in it has just completely gone. A very different look for SK. Their early game, they fell behind a little bit, but they played these team fights to perfection. Their team fighting was arguably their weakest point so far this yeah. split, but they've cleaned that up coming into game one. I mean, it's an opener for game one for SK that looks brilliant. Still, the resilience here in this game, comp or no comp, as X Kick now has to run away. It might not be over yet. Thanks nice to the equalizer there. from Photon. I mean, he flashed in, used Hourglass while... Video will be destroyed as he checks the... He's like, hang on a minute. There's something going on in there. Seeing Irrelevant now is good as well as Niski gets the shove back. Kazi was too far forward in mid. And he's just going to die. That might open things up. The ult to get him out is a good attempt, but Niski gets the kill. Five versus four. Baron, as you said, Vettius. Now, this just seems like an easy dub. Yeah. In this game was the play that happened to bot lane. Yeah. Uh, irrelevant catching out Kazi and Vitality as they're trying to siege onto that bot tier two, unlocking the third dragon for them as well. Really just set the rest of the game up. He I steps like up, I mean, just trying to do the final bit of damage that ends this game. Kazi's gonna be tagged down, there's the ulti. He'll get run down here as well. No fancy feed allowed, they just run him through. One mistake and punish well. As SK going forward now with the tanks, look how easy it is. Trying to deny that is Hillisang and Video kiting back, but in the front line, Photon sits until he's burned himself. Hilly jumped on, and the gap closed from SK is oppressive. The team fighting has been oppressive as well. And to open up this BO3 for our spring playoffs, the LEC say, hey, SK, you got your dancing shoes on today as well. To start us off, 1 0. Impressive stuff. 6 1 14 kill score. For irrelevant, 4 to 17 for Isma. Top jungle really coming up clutch, of course, Exekick. Securing that triple kill definitely helped in terms of the damage. He was what oh, he needed yeah. to be alongside. I guess he's fine picking it into uh, a bard as well. I mean, so let's just talk about Zillion. Great scaling champion, yep. right? This champion. You know, it's, it's just like deja vu. We've been in this place before. The flash was burnt, then he rinsed and repeated it again. So this time, Video gonna stand here. Flash, but he's way too far forward. Permafrost there, stuns him up, and first blood goes to Niski. Why change anything if it's gonna work a second time? Uh, yeah. a it's crazy bit. how similar this is to game <laughs> yeah. one. I feel like this time, though, Daglas looking for a dive in top lane. Now, we're getting a bit of a change in the script. Can they make it work? The Fury Bar is there, though, so Irrelevant can heal up a bit. TP defensively. Daglas still going for it. Flashes away and still gets the damage down. Match, though, as Daglas has to burn his own. Well done. The full commits there. And CSD being built. They'd love to dive this, but of course, they know their jungler is on the top side. Exekick feels safe to stick around. How crazy is it that, again, early game gold bleed for Vitality uh, through that top side. Oh, Nearly oh. too far forward to the turret. Exekick just accepts the donation there. Nice play from Exekick. 
So the closer they are to level six, you know, the more this lane is going to go. Level even six better. about to be ticked over here. Look, Ismus hovering around. He said the shuffle back though. The combo's there. Nitsky flashes out of respect, and Isman picks up the kill on video. Hilly made the roam. He flashed for it as well. But SK again in with blood from this duo. Isman's going to spot it out though. A nice stacked wave. Irrelevant would love to get this farm. Oh man, he could get level six off it as well, but they're not going to give him the chance. Against the wall, has nowhere to go. Isma flashes to try and help out, but Daglas tanks it up. Photon with the next one. Look at the size of the wave and vitality. With... We think about his performance in the previous game. Exa kick, no flash, remember. VTO oh. has him cornered. Oh wait, the angle, it's mind games, isn't it? They got over the wall, he then follows through. Shockwave still catches him by the toesies. And Kazi picks up that kill. That's going to feel great considering no one else is in the bottom side. Kazi is because that's what happened. Level six for Daglas, by the way. So even despite this volley bear dying before, now it's flash up and available. Niski for the all in, but he's gone deep for this. Daglas flashes, smashes him. Bear slap to the face. The honey in the wrong tree, though. So he gets out of there, Ooh. but SK don't care. They'll take him down. They'll give themselves another over to Exekick. And you know what? I'm singing deja vu in my. He spotted on a ward, though, so he should be able to get away to safety. Maybe it's just SK moving up here, isn't he's it? TP. He's TP. He's TP. Under Photon. Okay, Niski going to get out. That means he's safe. But for Photon, he burnt the flash before. Niski could have gone in himself. The Empress Divide for good luck. Somehow DOS gets it with the Ignite. But apologies. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Monty Pies and stuff. If anyone doesn't get the reference, just YouTube but You'll be right. Ulti again doesn't miss. Betty has said it before, doesn't miss. But Chrono Ship. Means you can't kill Photon for the time being, but they buy their time. There's the flash forward. Isma slows down. This kid needs to get in range, and he does with a flash of his own. A third kill for this is here. And even though gold's even, even though. But again, sometimes words are hard as video might be dove here. Doss is coming on him. Remember, he can turn the turret off as the cosmic binding's beautiful. Ignite down as well, but the shockwave is getting the tail end. Video survived for so long as Isma finally finishes the job, but Daklas can't get the final kill. Doss can't die. And SK on a hair's breath again, get out. That rabbit on death cap we talked about with Niski is there. But I want to talk about something super specific. If Kazi will let me, maybe he won't on deck. He's running forward, flash away, it's match. Exekick's dead! That is the Mad Lions AD carry that has represented a world that people feared in EU. That's a man that Vitality can count on. Kazi, completely unafraid, dives in. <laughs> Again, a pick off. SK getting caught with their pants down, and after a double stun, Hilly sets it up. Kazi smacks it down. Two quick kills for the Zaya. Vitality have completely opened up this game. Bit of banter between the two AD carries in the all chat as well. Love to see it. These players hyper competitive. Of course, Kazi did commit his flash for that. The Herald now being used in mid lane. Vitality. Feeling that confidence now. Here comes Ismen Niski, though, the duo that's found them so many picks. Oh, but it's a flash from Daglas. They want to engage this one, turn it around. Double flash for the bomb from Hilly, but only one connects, and it's onto his own jungler. And now to get out, Daglas doesn't have the ult, he doesn't have the flash. It was burnt before. Niski gets a kill. He has to flip on the bottom lane. 2v2 as cards. He's running for his life. A good root out. A cleanse out as well. SK with something back here. The VTO are going to get back to base as quickly as possible. There is that one ward on the right, but do they want to gamble TPing to there? Redemption heals them up. TP is going to be burned. Vitality say we have to do it. Daglas nowhere nearby. So in a five versus four, Vitality are playing second fiddle. Spectators in this game of League of Legends. The Shockwave, Shockwave. brings back the carry. Niski is the double root. Tempered fate as well. Baron goes down, but look at the health bars. Irrelevant running into Hilly, but Photon's quickly behind him. Bobbed away. Kazi takes out the jungler. Photon takes out the croc, and it's a quick trade of Baron for three lives. On Isma, on the back end of that trade, and Vitality, as you said, they might not be too unhappy about it, is on the Dragons, mine is there. X-Kick and Dots are now in the pit. This is a dangerous spot. Dots has to flush away. X-Kick will have to go over the wall, but Photon's poke is huge. And wait, oh, X -Kick. X -Kick takes it over the wall. Daklas in low range. Kazi! And Kazi takes the kill! Why did X kick go over? But now with the chrono ship, don't think it's over. Don't think it's over. Kazi's coming back alive. He'll get spun out to die, but Photon's still in the fight. As this one's been KO'd from the start to finish. Photon jumps in, gets another kill. The most fed member of Vitality matches the flash. Picks up a double. Matches into the triple. And Vitality wipe them clean eventually. What a crazy... Bought them a lot of time. Vitality, not going to say die here in this game, and especially not now with a 4k gold lead. Other dragon picked up as well, but it might start off a pick here from SK under turret. Isma can't finish the job, so he takes all the turret shots 
and that might just be the retreat, but Daglas won't let them. He's almost got flash available. Stormbringer there, the slowdown on Daniski. Stormbringer comes through, double stun bomb. Hilly says, yeah, brother, go on in. We've got our whole boys here alongside. Another quick two kills, and look at the top side in the meanwhile. Video's pushing in the base, SK are running for their lives. And it's all just coming up, Vitality. Oh, no, no, that can't be right. But we're going to watch it in action. There we go, doing the time warp. Again on Kazi, the flash forward, the shockwave, the dunk down. Vitality are now putting SK in the ground. It's going to game three, folks. Kazi... Work out like we saw some of that in the team fighting series. That's true, we did. Like, it has been a good series for Kazi, I think, overall. Vitality now putting their money where their mouth is as Doss is caught out. Look, the police siren again. Woo -woo! Doss is dead. Maybe Stormbringer. That's going to help him get out. Douglas is fine. Photon is just fine with the kill. And in a five versus four, the base is now in tatters for SK. I love how Hilly uses the heal just to help his AD carry close the gap. He's like, oh, you need a movement speed? <laughs> Let go. me help out. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Unlocks the mid inhibitor. So maybe Isma can find a steal similar to what Douglas did in game one. Yeah. TP. They're certainly going to try, aren't they? I mean, this is Niski with three times with the Crypto Bloom. Hang on a minute. Isma on the backside. No, don't 50 50. Don't 50 50. The flash over. They get out of videos like, hang on, give me my money back. On to X Kick and Isma. The ball's out of range. Niski going forward. TP to save their lives as well. Photon chasing after them. Renekton Zero relevant. Taking the front line. Redemption helping out with the Chrono Shift. Revives Photon. Hold on a second. We're doing the sequel. The Vitality. <laughs> the shield bow also picked up for Exekick. Woo! Out of range. Wow, he's fast. <laughs> oh my god. Don't mess with the police. Vitality now. I've got five versus four. And he becomes the fast. Remember, they can still dive. They can indeed. USS going to be using the they, they turn off the turret. It's Douglas, but he's taking up oh. damage. Tempered Fate buys time, though, and that means the turret is back on. Oh. What an ulti from Doss. As X keep running forward. Kazi, oh. though, the flash with the shockwave combo. Oh, my God. Kazi now free throwing. He's got the time warp on him. He's got everything on him. We are definitely setting up Kazi for success and vitality. 12, 1, and 5. It looked like support diff from Doss. It looked like... SK were able to stall that out and start bringing the game further back for Vitality now. Photon, not going to get caught out. No, Tempered Fate, Yuzo. SK get him against the wall. Isma tanking up for now. X kick, ulti's out. The lightning surges. Photon, dead! Oh, he's dead! Irrelevant now chasing after video. Won't find the pick. It's just a jump to the left over towards that Baron, remember. All they have to do is walk towards the pit, but they don't want a 50-50. He is through the choke here. Isma sets on up. Douglas gets the bell on top. Ding, ding. Round two over to Irrelevant. Well, Niski is now face first in this brush. Flushes away again. Here comes Kazi. Kazi runs forward, but Tempered Fate locks him in place. But SK choose the other angle. Go for the bottom of the fight. Kazi gets the root down onto Niski at the top there. Douglas Stormbringer's out. Video caught in the middle. SK up front to backing with Irrelevant. Taking up the damage. But Doss versus Kazi won't win out. Kazi is a machine. Stand away from the weird bird. <laughs> she will kill you. <laughs> the a full five on five Isma's for maybe the back. game. Isma is going back to base. It's going to be uncontested. Okay. The Baron is secured. Vitality have unlocked the objective. Back and now... man can't keep up. Is he overstepping, though? He's alone here, no Oriana. Oh, you're right, irrelevant Dominus Hughes onto cards. He's got summoners available with the Feathers Fly first. Watch this, Zaya stepping up again. Video gives him shielding. No one attacking him for now. The roots come through. Kazi at half HP. The rest of the fight going through. Niski shoves back by oh. space. But again, Kazi running forward without a care in the world. X kick trying is over the wall onto irrelevant. Douglas going to take this chase, but observers go to the right side. I want to see what else is happening as a big chunk gets taken out. Vitality run through mid. They've gotten the solo laners. Three versus five. Finally, is this it? It's a shockwave that connects. That's enough to end the reign of SK. We're going to go to a third game. Kazi continues to decimate his opposition. And SK will fall at the hands of Vitality as they bring us to one and one. A performance on Zaya like no other. The Vitality fans cheering his name. He knows. That was his game of vitality. Take us back from the claws of death. A little bit shaky in moments in that game was really the game state. This is actually like 
strong pick comp, side lane threat, a lot of 1-3-1, Vitality, a difficult to execute comp, all things considered. SK sticking to their guns. They are playing the... I think same for Hilly as well. I don't think he played oh. Rakan in game one. But now look at how they utilize this early pressure. DOS level oh two, he can fight Daglas. I mean, feeling confident, jumps on in. But remember, he has no summoners. He's going to get knocked up. Permafrost going to be there Ooh. and he's dead. First blood over to Vitality. That is, that's why I said it's huge for the 2v2. Because DOS had nothing to use. You're quite right. What a blunder from SK. It might not be done. Wait, they don't Wasted think... advance out of the shock blast, but it doesn't matter either. SK that with a trade it. onto Hilly with a low health bar. Extra kick flashes, but Hilly's out. Doesn't burn his own. And now for the permafrost, for the double, it's there. But it's a trade off. Second skin is the word I was looking for that Kazi eventually gets the trade. Then they engage onto Daglas. But remember, Kazi only level two, doesn't have that much damage. Again. We come back to live. We're just going again. Hookshot, Walkshot to get out. Niski was the target. Then Daglas turns, but three members of SK are here as he engaged from Hilly. Sets on up for the dunk down from the Jace. Doss again might be taken down, and he is. Second death for this Camille support, and it's not the same as when Hilly played That's it. Control ward and W's away to safety. Three things at once. Yeah, do that. We got a 2v2 again. Death oh. thing to be used. Numbers advantage going to be gained here by Vitality. And SK walking to this after they just burned the Azir ulti. It's a rookie error. Dakla's still going to die as Dot flies on in. But a double aura over to video. And once again, Vitality are going to be happy to have a fed chase. Give him a triple and 4 0 start for video. He was great on the Oriana, but you better buckle up for his Jace. Wow. So, Vitio has not been getting kills in the early game all series long, but this time around they reward him with four. It's karma. Vitality. Top side of the map, Vitality looking strong. Dragon, 40 seconds. You imagine this will be the next objective as both supports run into each other once again. But they've got Daglas by the side. I mean, Vitality fine with this onto DOS. Remember, it's a level four Camille. What is he doing here? Isolated. A big mistake. and. I mean, Hilly's moving. This Camille is not having the impact that SK wanted. And now the pressure is really starting to matter. Oh. Hilly with the ult. The flash in, the all in. is oh. coming in, but second fiddle. The ulti finally comes through and hits, but as Hilly tries to avoid a wave, eventually the kill goes over. It becomes a trade, but Video's still looking for this turret plate. He'll find it too. And the main thing is that this mid laner gets another kill. I think that's still great for Vitality. I mean, well played by Hilly. He doesn't get any summoners out of Niski, but that's because he didn't get a chance to move. Dos now. That ward is not allowed! It is not! You know that the Sejuani's nearby! Dos! I had nothing but confidence today so far in his first two games where he was not getting... He was just dying in the early game. Yeah. But uh, still finding impact, and that's the most crucial thing. Now, Hilly looking for impact of his own. Quickness and flash available. There's the Glacial Prison used under Irrelevant. He's a tank, but sniped out is DOS again. How much is he worth as a full dive from the Killer Instinct from Kazi? Sets up to kill Irrelevant, but he's tanky enough. Herald on the bot side is what we're looking at because they're doing spins, loop de loops, trying to get some gold back into S. Poking, diving, ducking, and. Vitality looking for a little bit more. Oh, oh no. no. Glacial Prison, I've seen this before. DOS is 1-7-2. And, and while Hilly made it that they were giving up the objective, and so Niski wanted to try and get ahead of the play. Kazi forced flash. a flash. Hexec Ultimatum. DOS setting up nicely this time. Under turret, though, it's a bit deep. Running forward, it's a good shutdown for X-Kick, though, as Douglas could be next. A kill onto the Zeri. Just W out of and nowhere. Then and in. then he comes in as well. A Rakan has so much mobility. Like, like this, right? Exactly what we're seeing Numbers on our screen. And TP's trying to match it, but Gold Card comes through. There's already a bit of damage to start off from Vitality. Remember the auto attacks I said from Photon. He's just whittling down DOS. Gold Card and Video takes the kill now for the quickness. The dive in still gets the charm. The all in the defensive position from SK trying to get onto the Sun Turret. Won't be enough either. Vitality know how to go, 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 and they ain't stopping for SK in this series. I'm so grateful that Vitality get to demonstrate exactly how their comp works. On you time. try to push in a side lane, and it's so easy for them to collapse. It helps that they also had that control in mid. They rotate up towards top. Hilly now trying to keep Isma away. No Baron steals today. Well, X Kick's gonna at least try maybe for the fight as Isma gets down and dirty, but the ulti from X Kick doesn't connect. There's the W stack as well. Kazi wants to dive on him, but ulti from Daglas may be the wrong direction as Doss gets out of there. Point. Seems so much more difficult. 
the dragon stacking was there early. Video is here right now. The jump on in, trying to kill Video, but he flashes away in the shock bar from downtown. It's an insult. Niski can't get anything done in this game, and I feel like the last straw was like six straws ago. <laughs> the locket coming uh -oh. in clutch from Hilly. Help there is. Me. Can he get the blast plan? Yes. He can. He gets away to safety. We can see two members from SK trying to push. They're trying to put some pressure down onto VTO. He's going to hold them off. They'll lose that tower, but that's fine. Uh, they might lose the game, Vettius, because VTO exactly. can 1v2. There's no TP available uh, for Irrelevant. SK, are you ready to go to the lower bracket? VTO's bracket? got to stop the back. flashes on in. I think the answer might be yes. Vitality again going forward as a big shutdown goes to Dots to try and buy the game. Isma also finds Hilly, but Kazi's still here. The Zaya that could. Excuse me, it's a Kaiser. VTO now in a 2v1 brain today, but maybe there's some there for SK. Video against the wall, bops back onto Irrelevant. The kill's not there and the shuts down. They're still trying in the bot lane, by the way. Vitality before. But in a minute 20, we might have another one again in this series. Now, again, Nature's Grasp is coming through. Hillisang quickly dodges as Photon ghosts out of the way. That's a big team fighting ult, but for Vitality, remember, they can reposition. They can reposition. They can dive as Doss took so much damage from the W, and Irrelevant is getting poked down. <laughs> auto down. Photon just won't stop. Irrelevant re engages and dies. Kazi just presses W, and down he goes. I mean, it's so annoying to play against this comp, that is. It really is. Photon is able to find that pick. Kazi finishing up the kill. They're going to break another tower. An inhibitor is sure to follow. Will they go for the Nexus? They know they have the numbers advantage here. They're catching the bot wave to help escort another wave in. Look at this. Look at the poke. Kazi as well. He's got that upgrade of W, so it comes every two seconds. Niski at half HP. The poke follows through from video as well. Another one hits. Another one. Call DJ Khaled. I think he's seen another one. Kazi gets Isma and Vitality get the Nexus target. The next kick. Finally, Aldi's but Hilly re engages. Quickness not there. Dos baited in. Poke down. <laughs> Almost one shot. Niski gets the ulti on the Photon. That keeps the defense going. It's Daklas as well. He's trying to bite his time, but X-Kick keeps the game going. Gets video, which keeps the ult going. He jumps forward. The engage is there. Triple for X-Kick. SK are not dead yet. SK are able to hold the line. They punish Vitality. I don't know if you want to believe in miracles as Vitality are going to pick up the Baron, deny the objective bounty. And remember, there are no Nexus turrets you're playing against a twisted fate. It is difficult. There's the hope in. I'm breathing in, ladies and gentlemen, I'm breathing. Into the Zeri, that's half his health gone. Into base he goes, Betty. The poke from Vitality is ruthless. And they're dodged. Attacking this final. Grasp. Oh, they're in. I... Irrelevant. Finds himself a knockup on a Kazi. Killer is defused. Okay. There we go. Wait, where's he going? The back door. Oh, gone. Back dooring. Running onto the Nexus. Nisky trying to stop it. Jumping in, but he flexes away. Photon's got it. He's got it. What a way to end the series. To move on in the upper bracket. Vitality. Knock down SK. Just like Winter. Photon leaves no room for error. Niski is aware of the potential backdoor, but he shuts it down. Very well played from Photon, very well played from Vitality. A complete stomp here in game three from start to finish. Doss's Camille was heavily punished. Oh, yeah. And also just pairs up nicely with the Sejuani. A good mid jungle combo where Akali does have kill threat on the Azir, especially in a side lane later on into the game. And there's no point in click, right? A lot of AoE. He played out his top side. He's also done his Raptors and the Krugs. And now the fight for the Crab begins. Nice trading from Noah and Jun. Really good. Patrick hitting so low. Peach and Razork are going to fight it out on the other side. But the 2v2 is already one out from Fnatic. But when the mid laners get involved, crash down there. Jun flash Aqua Prison onto the enemy jungler. No one's been ignited, but he won't care. He flashes two, runs on in. Humanoid steals it from over the wall. And that's what you call working with lane lead for, for Fnatic. Obviously has to be careful because the support is roaming. Top side of the map for Odo Amne, though. Small CS lead, but the gold is starting to mount thanks to his passive. Crash Beach. down there. Doesn't Oscar in flash. level six. That makes me pause, but still, there might be enough damage. Gold card to be used only under Razork. Oscar in has ghost for this, and now he has a flip back. Peach doesn't have a flash. Here's Humanoid again. There's the flip. Oscar gets the kill, and Fnatic are running. Secures that. It's a great start for Fnatic overall. Now they turn their attention to mid lane. 
Jackie's in a bad spot. He's going to be shoved away, but the crash down furthers the stun. Jackie's with the perfect execution, gets him out, jumps in, fakes <laughs> it. It's all blurred up. Set me up for this. Quickness. Humanoid. Shifting Sands coming out. No, not yet. Does he have Merck's Lamont? He does. There's the ulti out, but back in is Jackie's. Nice setup from Ignar. He'll take the turret shots because Jackie's is on the board. Very nice play from Jackie. Go, so. Protective items already building up here as Humanoid just gets over the wall. Jackie's jumping into the smoke screen. Razzle's here, but Destiny now burnt. Odoami, a greedy position. He has to flash over the wall. Razzle was there as Oscar and just TP'd in. The Cassante ready to all out, flashes behind and gets in the way. Or rather, just runs it. Oscar is now dead. Odo is out of the picture while we look at this fight for Humanoid trying to front to back. Confused because now Razzle gets to flash away. A lot of moving parts. Watching to see if Jackie's will have his first item. The answer won't be because that dragon's already up. He go instead goes for the perfect execution and onto Humanoid. He should find it, but out of range. No, you're not. Jackie's with another kill. This Akali might be set up for this game as Giant. Remember, there's teleport for Jackie's to join back in. The damage from Lucian is something to be feared. Giant X is respecting it for now. Good ward. TP's from Jackie's from behind. He doesn't have the ulti, but he has the position. Quickness starts us off. Watch Jackie's on to Noah. Jun can't save the day. The E won't work, but the culling into everyone is the TP from Humanoid right where he wants to be. But where's the ulti coming through? Patrick over the wall survives for now. Fnatic make this messy again, but it's turned into their fight. Jackie's will sure can flip away while Peach gets up on the left side. Rather right. But as he runs, I mean, Fnatic don't find any kills but they find themselves positioned again in front of Dragon. The target by Fnatic, nice play from them. Odo Omni lives, he has the destiny. And remember, there's no flash available. He's got no ulti available. That mistake from Fnatic before the over committing with the quickness. The kill goes to Peach, that's just sad, but still punishing Fnatic's mistakes. Giant Dragon, as you mentioned just before, 30 seconds away. Baron is a minute as well as the sun turret in the sun sphere, in the sun land is going to be dropped down, but Jackie's jumps over it. The Empress of Ide was good, but Jackie's didn't get the shuriken flip, so no extra damage, perfect execution, waiting, waiting almost, and he flashes at the end. He thought he could outplay Humanoid, but that's a Tier two in the top lane. That's a tanky front line. Oduamne is not doing any damage. It's going to turn into a fight over this turret. The engage is there, but it's Razork defending and already. Odo's just dead. Patrick's soon to go with his Fnatic fight. This on the wrong angle, but it's front to back, so it doesn't matter. They're on the wrong side of the map, but it must be so right. Noah with a quick double as Giant X has soon dissipated. Fnatic have turned this dive into a brilliant move as Jackie sits in fog of war. His own creation oh. might get out, but over Humanoid says no. Nah. That was smooth. But you ain't gonna be a criminal in front of me and Fnatic. Regain control. The crowd pumps them up, and Baron gives them all they got. I mean, we talked about control earlier. Fnatic transitioned that control into the top lane. They threaten the tier two, knowing that Jack is his boss. You know, Nora as well, with a bit of a boost up here in the mid game, too. A bit of a boost in the items. Three and a bit now. A lot of damage coming from this Lucian. And as we've seen, the big run from Fnatic suffering from success as they use this Baron to push in bot. While well, Oscar captures top and has a TP to get on him, but he's engaged as oh. the flank is there. Razork with the setup. The tidal wave is a massive tsunami, but now look at Oscar in the back line dealing with four people. Jackie's doing the same though. Hang on, Jackie's. He flushes the Aqua Prison. The rookie is the hope of Giant X. Buying time is big because now Patrick still alive. Odo repositions onto Humanoid. Patrick's there. Fnatic, this might not be your fight until Humanoid flies on in. Fnatic regain control. The gold card on the Cassante is nothing. And all you need is Marek, and the fight is still yours. Jackie's making a really nice play to shut down the bot lane off Fnatic. Unfortunately, Giant X is just too far behind. They can't convert it into anything else. The inhibitor is going to fall. And Humanoid finds a triple kill. Oh, this is bait. This is bait. Odoane runs in. This is bait as he flies away. The range is there. Ignar now here. He tried That's to four. save the day. Another kill over to Humanoid almost. But Ignar goes back to base and just another one on top for Humanoid. Almost a pentagon. Trying to get the most out of this Baron. Ten seconds left. I mean, they're going to get a huge amount out of it. This push coming in. It's going to help accelerate the minions in and look at all the little termites following through. Now with Inhibitor going down as well, it'll be double in here. But look, Giant X are like, should we pull the trigger? There's a gold card at the ready. 
but no acceleration of play. Fnatic now moved to topside after what was a three, three and a half K Baron power play. Even without the Baron minions, they're so far ahead, do they even need them? That's a great question. I don't know if they do. The problem is there's no pressure elsewhere on the map right now. Maybe Fnatic don't I care. They don't <laughs> care. There's the ulti following through from Peach, so he starts it off on the Humanoid, but the tidal wave with the Magnet Storm! That is the Avatar! Fnatic bring out all four elements in one swift move, and the dirt is gone of Giant X. This game is done. Fantastic team fight from Fnatic to close this one out. It's under 30 minutes, they make it look clean, and Fnatic is looking to lead the series. Man, for what was back and forth for a while, Fnatic made short work of accelerating their lead once they had it. Game one, it was push and pull, but it's still Fnatic's in the end. Humanoid. I mean, what else is there left to say? Another cinema performance from him. Absolute Definitely cinema. got caught out a couple times in the early game. He found himself a one at the end of the Jace angle. Or is it Twisted Fate? It's but that's, Twisted Fate. That's AD top. So, where's the AP damage from Giant X? I mean, there's a bit on Sejuani. There's a bit on Zeri. Yeah. Uh -oh. Handy, though. Razzle already looking for a gank in mid. And look at the lane. At least he has Q3 to get away here for Jackie. So he's flashed on nice away Q. for now. The health shield is good as Jun has also made his way in, but nice. be able to close. And while that is true, you know, you're right. You, you know, know the, European teams better than I do. The last game, <laughs> well, not exactly. Just I knew the feeling. You had a feeling. It a was a very similar feeling that last series. Size on a dive. The peach is here to cover. Oh, maybe he wants to steal those raptors away because he gets level six off this. That is, he will get level six depending on what happens. That flash was to where permafrost. Odoamne is ghosted for this. Ignar is here. Razork has messed up just a little bit. He's dying, but to who is the question? A Vault Breaker into a First Blood, unfortunately, by Ignar the Rocket. Not going to get Jackie. Yeah, when it comes to... <laughs> Especially his uh, word, Smithery. Yeah. Uh. That's you. Noah, 1v2 now. Ignar flashes and tries to predict. Shattering Strikes there, but Noah under turret. Might have a return. Oh. The Jinx damage out of nowhere. And then Fnatic find that. Two quick kills over to two big carries. In an instant, the Fnatic early game is just up. I mean, great punishes across the board from Fnatic. Dragon, they start it now. Uh, Humanoid has to walk in from topside. Fnatic are going to be late to the show. But each yeah. has just run on in, Ooh. and he gets knocked up mid-air. The Metal Horse dead as soon as Mega Death Rocket is blocked, and now it turns into a fight. Venius is now amused as Patrick kites it back, but look at how separated they are. Fate sealed interaction there once again as Jun is taking it up, but Humanoid jumping forward, almost getting Jackies. Well, Odoamna is like, I'm not joining this fight. I don't care anyway. Don't have the ulti. Doesn't matter. Fnatic brute force them off the dragon, and Giant X are going to run for their lives. Jackies goes for another trade against Humanoid. That's a really Flashes. good trade from Jackies. Q2, dodge Humanoid. Ooh. Oh my god. If he connected that Q3, it would have gone a we kill. I think once again, we've got to wait till he gets into these fights because still going to play the tank front line. And we still know what his role is as Fnatic. Are they caught out here? Yes, they are. The all in. It's a great ult from Humanoid, but now as he gets gobbled up, Fnatic are here to counterplay. Razorg Soldi ceases and desists Ignar, and Humanoid gets a kill, but that fight's sealed. Jackie's the rookie that could. On to know he's going to cleave another. The pileup from Fnatic backfires, and Jackie's is once again showing us how it's done today. Okay. Some of that gold. And top lane was already up. So as they look to push this turret, it's a dive on a humanoid. Good side set, but no minion wave here. None at all. Fate sealed as well as he backs and forth. Shifting Sands Peach almost goes to his death. The Igna is now here. A Magnet Storm used under turret. He'll take one too many, but survive. Thank you, Locket. Wait! Two for the price of one. No. One of them survives. Ignard dries and... They're into River first. They start this one off, and Giant X have to walk into this. How dangerous is it? Never mind, Jackie doesn't care. On to Razork, he could just be dead. That's the jungler gold card. The angle, Jun saves his life. Massive shield coming out. Re-engage on the Peach Rock. Humanoid finds Ignar. Another engage tool of Giant X. That's just going to be collapsed upon and destroyed. Fnatic with low health bars, though, and Jackie's still waiting for the perfect ulti. Fate sealed as a two-man, but he's so deep. Goes back, disengages, and look at who they were trying to kill. With the Death Rocket out, it's Noah, baby. 
separate the waters, walk through the season. No one will make it so. A nice team fight from Fnatic. The Wait. members of Giant X are forced to retreat. He's chasing Wait. for more, but he doesn't quite have the damage. He's going to escort this Herald in, who gets another charge. The Dragon will be secured as well by Fnatic. The positioning from Noah, the use of the ultimate. The items now too, as we gear up for another fight. This time around the Baron onto Jun. Glacial Prison is going to be used. Tom Kench, whose great health means nothing, he's dead. Patrick picks up the killer now front to back for Giant X, but look at this, Nazir. Look at this, Jinx. Even though Giant X have gotten two kills, Jackie, fate seals out. Oscar in and now the re-engage, the double Q, Humanoid goes golden, but look again at Noah. I'm still thinking that this fight could be Fnatic's. A reset over to Noah, re-engage, Oscar in and gets excited himself, but look at Noah, look at Noah, look at Noah. He is a one-man army. Some dude above said build a boat and Noah's not Two members, again. it's Humanoid and Noah that are actually down there. They're paranoid about the Baron being Wee. started. Razork almost caught out with a Glacial Prison, now it's Oscar in and gold cards there. Odo has ghosted into this. A quick note as that brings Noah back on in. They forget it. Jackie's on the back line, though. Looking for it is Humanoid. Ulti a Yone. Not good, but Razor finds a pick in the back line. And Odo Amne's taken down immediately. Fnatic full on forward. As look at Noah again. The Red sees nothing, but Patrick jumps on in as Jun saves his life, saves the game. Jun is the hero. The elephant that repopulates the earth. A double kill over, but forget that. Patrick's dead. And Fnatic now just running down the last remnants. Jun and Noah. Burn flash in the last play. Fate sealed back up, almost level 16. Humanoid doesn't have flash. I'm looking as well because Patrick with no summoners. Going to be difficult, but Jackie's now set up in position. There's Humanoid ulti, but he's burnt down. Jackie sets it up for Giant X. A great start as Peach is absorbing the damage. Should make a death rocket. Almost a reset, but Noah. Noah can touch Noah. Fate sealed. Can't touch Noah. He flushes away. You can't touch Noah. He's the blessed one. A triple down packed. And as they try and try and try and try again, you can't touch Noah. It's an ace for Fnatic, and they may well just look to end the game right now. Oscar needs to tank these towers so that the minions don't die. Off the back of a single team fight, Fnatic might have just done it. With the tanks in the front line, they don't need the minion wave. It comes in, softens up the turrets, and Giant X tested them, but Fnatic will not be stopped. They'll move to the second round. They'll 2-0. And they'll show us that they want to improve upon their winter placements. They want to go to MSI, and this is how you start. 2-0. An impressive one for sure. It's crazy how that fight ended up playing out. Humanoid dying at the end should cement a team fight victory, but they just didn't quite have enough in the tank to also kill Noah. Yep. Patrick was 8-2-2 two two at the end of that game. He was dishing out damage. He was a